Good morning. This is a stuffed envelope for an Alice in Wonderland swap that I've done on Facebook. This is one of my favorite subjects to create, so I really had fun with this. Um, I had cut out and decoupaged a cute a teapot. I created the steaming water with shrinky dinks, the hat on top of the teapot with the little verse that says in the style 10-6. I also printed these off my computer, kind of tea stained them, and put them on top of the front of the card, along with some lacy flowers. This is my chunky charm bracelet that I made. Uh, again, I used my shrinky dinks and created the little um, uh, creatures of Alice in Wonderland, the white rabbit, the um, Mad Hatter's hat, and Alice herself. Inside of this video, inside of this envelope, I'm sorry, is just a few things that I created. This is a wand. Um, these are actually candy sticks for lollipops that you buy at the bake shop. And I created the little Alice drinking her potion to make her small or large. I included the scroll from the rabbit and it's got a piece of a page from the book itself and this paper clip on here, the clothespin, was created by a friend of mine and it is absolutely gorgeous. I also included a domino, altered domino, I put a few little doodads on the bottom and I'll put the recipient's initial in the middle here. I saw this on Facebook and thought this was absolutely adorable. Uh, they took a, a clip art picture of the white rabbit and cut him in half, put his feet on the bottom, made a little bookmark tag out of it. I put a little wooden clock here uh, to represent his pocket watch. And then just added a couple of little spoons and forks for the tea party they'll all be going to later. The back, is this is a double stuffed envelope, is filled with things that I created. Um, these are the altered paper clips. I took the white rabbit, made his little scroll and put, oh dear, I shall be too late. This watch is exactly two days slow from Lewis Carroll. And then the queen of, ha of hats with her little verse. I also did the altered puzzle pieces. Um, I have a miniature set of Alice stamps that I was able to use on these puzzle pieces. And I put some charms and a, a butterfly. For the Alice one, I put her little potion and a, made a um, pin holder for the uh, this little tag here. I took another page from the Alice book and actually made a magnet out of it. And it's the rabbit. I cut the rabbit out and it has the magnet on the back. This is a little clipboard. I like creating these. They're kind of fun. Uh, the first page of the paper says I'm late for a very important date. It has the calendar here and it has the lock and key representing the door that Alice has to get through with just a couple of little miniature um, tags stamped on there. This is the holder I made for my letter to go to my friend and I just put a little hello stamp with some little beads down here. These are buttons that I took. Again, I got some clip art from Pinterest and uh, decoupaged them onto real buttons and made Alice in Wonderland buttons out of them. This is a tea bag holder that I found on Pinterest and just thought it was cute to put a little um, tea bag in there for the recipient. Um, this I found on a YouTube video. I can't remember who put it out on how to create the double pocket. It was a little complicated but very fun and I really enjoy it because you can get so much more into these envelopes. I want to thank you for your time for listening and I hope you enjoyed it because I really had fun making it.